your dog CJ, man, he had some stuff said for the game. He struck again, bro. <laughs> and before and before we get into this, bro, I'm not like I'm not trying to, like y'all know, bro. I'm all positive, bro. I'm not trying to attack CJ at all. Um right. I know he took what I said personally. And, you know, before I even get into it, what we think he is like in terms of how we feel, bro, like we all in the NFL. How we how one of us saying that another person don't belong here. They just that type of person. Like you feel me though. Like even I what a pro. Scared, man. I got... Yeah. Hey, one thing I know about eight, man. Eight go bring the noise. Eight go bring the energy. And eight go bring all the trash talking that half the team's not doing. So he fulfilled that need for us. You know what I'm saying? He a guy with a lot of energy. He go talk that trash, but you know, hey, you go talk. You gotta back it up at some point of time. And if you don't, he know for sure. That media go catch it, go catch it on attention, and he gotta be ready to answer every time. Cause if he don't, <laughs> the media go hold his ass every time. But every you know what's up, man. Micah, Micah, Micah. Even in your absence, you still somehow managed to be the MVP and the owner of the Philadelphia Eagles. My goodness. This man, Micah Parsons, may have single handedly destroyed the entire Philadelphia Eagles locker room with one swift podcast episode. Now, the reason that that clip is actually pretty interesting and it's, it's kind of weird is the fact that that's Darius Slay on that podcast with Micah Parsons. Darius Slay that plays for the Philadelphia Eagles with Micah Parsons, who plays for the Dallas Cowboys in the middle of the season. You know, two heated division rivals. Yeah, that's Darius Slay on the edge with Micah Parsons laughing, laughing about his teammate, C.J. Gardner-Johnson. And here's the thing, man. This isn't, this isn't some new rivalry that just popped up because Micah Parsons didn't like what C.J. Gardner-Johnson had to say about the New Orleans Saints. This is something that's been going on for at least a few months now. Before the actual offseason even started, CJ Gardner Johnson went on an IG Live and had some comments about joining Micah Parsons' podcast and how Micah would have to pay him to get on that podcast. Man, I'm gonna go home and hop on the RP. Now I want somebody to put me on their podcast. I right, shut that bitch down. Pay me before you talk about me. Before you mention my name, pay me. But then we see another IG Live from this past week after Micah's comments made its rounds where CJ Gardner Johnson is seemingly almost begging to be on Michael Parsons' podcast. The fact that you said nobody knows me, it's kind of crazy. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to shake your hand like a man when we play y'all and got no animosity. Like, bro, I appreciate and salute what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You one of the top DNs in the league, bro. Like, no bullshit, bro. Shout out to Michael Parsons, bro. I know who you are. If you don't know who I am, well, bro, I've been in the league six years. Yes, I bounce around from team to team. You know, trials and tribulations, shit happens. But you know, God got me through, got me where I'm at. Shout out to Michael Parsons. When we play, I just want to be able to swap jerseys with you, bro. That's all. So you know who I am. If we can't do that, bro, Shit, I, I guess you don't know me enough. I'm just being a real brother. Since we speaking on people, bro, I ain't got no animosity towards you, bro. I was, it was an emotional game. Everybody know I came from the wall. It was a good game from both sides, you know what I'm saying? Shit happened, tempers flare, but that's crazy you said that nobody know me. So just give me a chance to come talk to you on your podcast. If that's real, if we, you feel me? That's all, bro. I just want, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know who I am, we can watch film from my rookie year all the way to now. When I picked off Tom Brady to when I snapped Pacheco in the Super Bowl. When I got a fourth down stop, we can look at it all, bro. If people don't know who I am, I apologize, bro. Which leads us here. C.J. Gardner-Johnson running his mouth. Micah Parsons and him going back and forth with some tweets and different comments and stuff. Just based off of Micah just being a, a super friendly good guy. And C.J. Gardner-Johnson not really showing a, that type of respect to other guys and teams that Micah Parsons feels like he should be showing him. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. I am a Cowboys fan. But I actually kind of more so agree with the mindset that C.J. Gardner-Johnson got. I don't want my guys being friendly at all. I don't want them showing too much respect to these teams. In fact, I want them to be disrespectful in how they dismantle these teams. So I'm just going to say I kind of lean that way a little bit as it pertains to the temperament I want my players showing 
with other teams and organizations. Now, the reason I say that this is going to cause some issues in that Philadelphia Eagles locker room is because C.J. Gardner-Johnson just came back and actually had a very, very simple one-word response to seeing his own teammate laughing at him with Michael Parsons on Michael Parsons' podcast about him getting burnt toast by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, bro. That is crazy to me to see someone's teammate laughing at them, to, to have their own teammate as the butt of their joke. That was absolutely crazy. And CJ Gardner Johnson just simply had to say, damn. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. I wouldn't have much to say either. And honestly, this is something that could easily cause a very fragile, already locker room to completely fracture. When you have guys that don't seem like they're really out there for one another, and you got a bunch of mercenaries essentially out there playing for themselves, that already is a problem. When you got those mercenaries publicizing that they're mercenaries and they don't really care about the next man to them, in fact, they're willing to laugh at the, at the, at the downfalls of their own teammate in front of the world, that's an even bigger problem. The Eagles got problems, ladies and gentlemen, not only on the offensive side of the ball with their head coach and their quarterback, but we see on the defensive side of the ball as well. That team is absolutely splitting at the edges. See what I did there? Either way, Michael Parsons, keep doing what you're doing. I see you, bro. I see you. Ingenious. This is like some Cold War tactics right here. This is how you divide and conquer without even playing a damn game yet. Look how easy Filthy is. We don't even have to play them, and we already beat them. We stink. Same old cow. Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still the ball? Y'all usually check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still them boys. Hey, hey! Woo, portion of my portion. Hey, I'm still them boys.